from Coach? Oh, we needed that. Um, you know, great, great outing all the way around. I'm just real excited for Kim Wirt. Really happy for her. I know it's uh, it's been a long time coming and a little home run drought. Um, so it was great to be able to do that in front of our home crowd. And Lauren Krings pitched outstanding. Um, one pitch got away from her, and that was a ball that was hit hard out of the park. But, um, you know, overall, good, good outing to see. Coach, you've obviously seen uh, Kim Wirt grow qu quite a bit since you've known her. You know, what did it mean to you to kind of see her get this accomplishment tonight? You know, and, and I think what's real impressive is the amount of time that she did it. Um, you know, not counting her, her freshman year that she was at Hofstra and 2020 being cut short. So real impressive that she was able to do it in just a short period of time. But I'm just so unbelievably proud of her, um, you know, knowing her since she was such a a young kid recruiting her along the way and getting an opportunity to play here at Mizzou. So just really happy that for her, I'm happy for the program and, you know, records are meant to be broken and just shows you the growth um, in the direction that the program's going in. Can you speak on y'all's relationship, you know, having brought her over with you from Hofstra? Yeah. And again, it goes, it goes way back. I mean, when I first saw her, I can tell you the exact field in Binghamton, New York, um, that she was playing shortstop and she made a, Derek Jeter play in the five, six hole and threw across the diamond. And when the ball came out of her hands, she continued to the dugout because she knew the kid was out at first base. And right away I said, I need that kid on my team. And she's from Virginia, really tough to get a Virginia kid to come up into the Northeast and especially come to New York. And I didn't think I had a chance. Um, but then when I looked at the roster of the team that she played on, she played on a team called Virginia Legends. And they had kids that were all at high academic institutions. So right away, I, I knew I would have a shot. Um, great family background. Kim is an unbelievable student, um, wants to be a physical therapist and now a chiropractor. So knowing that we had an opportunity to be able to get her and just seeing the growth and the development going from starting at the mid-major level and now in the SEC. How's your guys' relationship grown as you guys have grown here at Mizzou overall as a program together? You know, and then Kim was almost an interpreter our first year here together because she was the only one that understood terminology and language and lingo, and she related to the rest of the team. Um, but it's like she's she's my daughter. Um, I can coach her a little bit differently. Um, very, very personal relationship. I can get on her. Um, I gave her a big hug today. Um, she knows exactly the, the demands and the expectations. Um, and she's just such a deep, rooted, um, warm-hearted individual, and she always wants to do well for not only the program, but her teammates and just our, our relationship and, and doing it together. And I think that's just really special. Kind of talking about tonight's win, you know, uh, did, I was asking uh, Lauren earlier, did you, did you guys always feel like, you know, you had like a rough stretch here, right? So but you, did you always kind of feel like you would get back to this place that you need to be? Was there an, always that kind of belief? Oh, always. I mean, you never go into a game thinking that you're going to lose. Um, and we knew it was just a matter of time. Um, we just had to continue to battle and compete and, and not get deflated. I mean, when, when you lose a couple games and, and what's so tough about our sport is that even when like the game against Kansas, you know, the number of hits and the number of runs we put up, we just didn't put up more than the other team. Um, and we had been going through a scoring drought. So putting up seven runs, shows you that the potential's there. Um, you know, we're not being no hit. We're not being shut out. Um, we just were going through a rough stretch and we just had to continue to fight and we had to get tough. And that's really the message that, that we are sending is that we have to continue to be a tough team and to battle and to grind it out. And, you know, sooner or later, we're going to, the ball's going to fall and we're going to have an opportunity to win. Anything else for coach? Yeah, I'll ask another question. I was just going to wait for other people to ask. <laughs> um, any hints of what was written on her home run ball? Um, I have it. It's in my office. I haven't given it to her yet, um, but it's going to be, it's going to say home run record breaker. And with the date and the, and the game, um, you know, pretty special. It's going to go right under the SEC and we'll put it in a little enclosed glass case. Um, but I mean, just, just really special one that we got the actual ball back. Um, but two, you know, memento that she's going to have for the rest of her life. You know, and I think what's really cool about breaking records 
it's one, she's going to know the legacy behind the previous record. Um, and then again, her name's always going to be in the record books and everyone who's going to come through this program is going to want to beat Kim Wirt. Um, and they're going to continue to strive to be just like her and, and to be better than her. And I think that's just real exciting. What kind of leadership does she bring to your offense? It's, it's, such, a, it's such an experience um, and it's a trust. And I think that's, I mean, she probably has, she does have probably the best work ethic on the team. And that's what she established when she came here. Um, blue collar mentality outworks the system. I mean, you have a kid that, that hardly was recruited by any power five schools and went to a mid major. And then now one of the best hitters, um, you know, breaking record at Mizzou. And she, she deserves everything that she's earned with her work ethic, with the time that she has put in, um, you know, I, I continue to make the analogy that she's a 15 year offensive lineman and her body's just breaking down and she continues to work every single day. Um, and that's why she came back for that fifth year. And she said, I'm just going to keep playing as long as my body allows it. And you get you earn a lot of respect when you can see someone who every day has a hard time getting out of bed and she continues to work and doesn't make any excuses. You said you remember the first time you saw Kim on a field and what? What's what are you going to remember from tonight? The excitement in the dugout. Um, I mean, she deserves it. And I knew she was going to break it. Like it, it was just a matter of time. Um, and you never, ever see want to see a player press. And I think it's great that they, she had the two singles leading up to that home run because um, she's not up there trying to hit it. She's not up there selfishly trying to break the record. Um, she had two low and outside pitches and drove them opposite field, which last year she never, ever would have been able to hit a ball to the right field. Um, she was trying to lift every, and pull everything. So I think that really set up that home run. But when she hit it, the excitement from her teammates, her coaches in celebrating that home run really just shows you how much respect that they have for Kim. Anything else for Coach? Cool. Thanks, everyone. See you guys tomorrow.